my 1972 Volkswagen Squareback. Just doing a video walk around so you get an idea of what everything looks like. Pictures can be deceiving. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Paint isn't bad on it at all. The hood's got a couple, well, a bunch of scratches in it. But that's just from resting stuff on it. Uh, I have the front bumpers for it. Show you all the parts I have after I do a walk around of the car. Hood's got some rot. I just primed over where the rust was coming in. Stopped the rust. Uh, this fender was patched. Probably needs to be cleaned up a little bit. This rocker was patched too. It's a little wavy. Probably could use it. Better patch than that, a replacement. Let's see. There's a whole walk around here. Shut all the areas here. Everything looks pretty good. A little bit of rust coming through here. I just primed it, I didn't do anything pretty. Just didn't want anything to rust through. Same thing over here. I got actually a little bit of rust coming through here. Probably needs to be grinded back out, cleaned up a little bit. The rims are dirty, but they are powder coated. Kind of like a bronze green. I was planning on changing the color of the car. the tread of the tire. Okay, now let's look under here. Under the front hood. Got the spare tire. This had an original gas heater and that was taken out. Um, it's got a little bit of rust in here. No really, really bad rock coming through over here. Um, that has some pretty bad rust in there. Nothing that really stops it from driving or doing what it's supposed to do. Um, it's got a new fuel pump on it. It's actually a brand new electronic fuel pump. Check out the interior. Okay. Like I said, it's a little dirty. Dash actually is in pretty good shape, except for right by the speaker. That little box there. Shut that. I started uh, just doing some sound deadener in here. Did it on this whole side. Um, I just cleaned up all the carpet glue that was on the car. Looked really bad. And uh, I bedlinered it first. I only have the passenger side door panel, um, but it's pretty messed up. Probably gonna need new door panels. Um, I was only able to get the back of this one done here. seat. Like I said, I took the carpet out, so anything that was covering it is not there anymore. I cleaned all this up and sprayed it with Osfo, so it won't rust. I just didn't want to paint it, because that shows some of the original color of the car. Uh, I'll fire the car up in a minute. It hasn't been started in about a week or so. I was on vacation. show you the back here. This carpet from the previous owner about five years ago was put in. I took it out and I rhino lined the whole inside here. So this is kind of just laying here. This kind of gives you an idea of the glue 
that they used. I have tons of pictures of what I did and what it looked like before. Uh, I had the carpet pretty tucked in, but you can see it's car was broken into about four years ago and the back speakers were stolen out of it never put any new ones in but it's ready to go um, headliners falling a little bit in the back corner here nothing that if you get the hinge covers probably seals it up pretty nice this side I actually got tons of speaker wire stashed up there and uh, that's for the motor uh, it's pretty clean start right up. I'm going to show you I haven't been. It is not on. I have not started the car at all. I have not. Let's see. I'm not trying to bullshit anyone here. I mean the car's cold as shit. Shit's usually warm but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Alright. Let me turn this battery on here. Like I said don't have, I haven't started in it in about a week, maybe, maybe it's been about a week and a half. But these bucket seats are actually Volvo seats with the Volkswagen frame on them. I don't know if you can see that, but one of the seats are underneath my workbench there. Oh, this is the worst of the rust right here pan's pretty shot in the corner here into the heater channel and it goes obviously outside um, for these cars that's actually pretty not that's not bad um, I can't really show you but in the back here these are actually metal patch panels I had a buddy of mine weld in new patch panels works when it wants to. Uh, I didn't have a radio installed in this. What I was running was, that's all speaker wire by the way, just so you don't think it's a rat's nest, it's just speaker wire. I was running an amp with an auxiliary output to it and just plugging in an iPod or a phone or something and that's what I was playing music.